Well, I went to the auto parts store today and I bought a 30 inch Gates belt. And uh, this one's a uh, Napa actually, but it's, uh, I believe it's Gates makes these. A 4L300W, so that's the same width as what I had on here before. Uh, 30 inch, because that website said it would be a good starting point. I talked to the uh, guy at the counter, my parts guy, says as long as I don't get it all greasy, if I uh, put it on and find it doesn't fit, he understands the situation where it's going to be a trial and everything to see if it's going to fit. So I just uh, took the caps off again and I'm getting ready to, I took the uh, belt off that I was trying the other day. Took that one off. That's the 27. And I'm getting ready to put the 30 on. Ah, every time I've taken this off, I end up knocking the shim off on this side and dropping it. And this time, I can't find it, so it's hung up somewhere. And the wife just called me that it's supper time, so I'll have to pick this up later. Oh, oh. wife makes a good pot roast. I ate too much. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's driving me nuts. I have to take those caps off again. I gotta pull the spindle. I have no idea where that uh, where that shim fell down to. This is the two shims on this side. I only had the one on this side, and now I have zero. Yeah, I was afraid of that. It fell down into the bearing. Luckily, I didn't torque it down. Okay, I've got the belt on. And see, at first I thought it was too, way too loose. I haven't got it engaged yet, but it wasn't in the pulley. All right, that does seem like it's going to be way too loose. I still don't think this is going to work. Well, I might be wrong. And I am. That seems pretty good. So now... Ow! i got to get this pulley this belt onto the right pulley. Okay, now all belts are taut and what the heck was that? Still slipping too much. Still slipping too much. All right, so we're going to have to get a 29 and hope that that's not too loose because you can see the amount of deflection in this one is very little. Same thing with this one. I'm trying to put about the same amount of pressure on each one as I, as I try it, but look at this one. This one's deflecting quite a bit compared to this one or this one. So this belt is too loose. You know what, though? Ah! I've got, actually, I've got some adjustment to play with here. This is obviously by design that there is a lock nut, and this screw is long. So if I loosen this lock nut, I could tighten this screw and raise this shaft. I could do that on both sides. The problem is, with these being so tight and this one being so loose, I don't think I want to do that. In other words, if I, if I bring this shaft up to tighten this belt, these are going to be over tight. All right, even though the uh, belt's slipping some, I'm going to demonstrate this compound drive again now that I've got a belt that's working well enough to show it. Um, right now I've got this uh, collar over to the right, and what I found is that it's best to have the slack off the belts when you're trying to shift this. So I'm going to have to put the camera down, but basically what you do is, as you're trying to shift the collar to the right, you want to rotate this wheel. I'll try and stay out of the way enough so you can see what I'm doing. When you hold the collar from spinning and put pressure on it this way, rotate this wheel, and then it clicks right out. Now I put the uh, tension on the belts, and when I turn this, what you get is uh, with the uh, this being in the center, this belt being in the center position on the, the triple pulley there, it's almost a one-to-one -one between this input this input uh, pulley and the uh, rotation here. So if I rotate this a quarter turn, you see pretty much the chuck rotates a quarter turn. Now, to get it into the compound drive, again, I'm going to take the slack off. Now i got to move this collar this way. To move this collar this way, while holding the collar and putting pressure on it this way, 
you rotate this pulley and it clicks right in. Now take up the slack again and now you'll notice when I rotate it because how little the chuck moves. If I do a quarter turn, my arm's probably in the way. If I do about a quarter turn on the input pulley, the chuck jaw only moves maybe, oh, I don't know, not even 45 degrees. I'm just going to hop over to this side so you can see how slow it moves now. If I move the input pulley a quarter turn now, you can see the chuck jaws only move about from here to here.